About two-thirds of Americans say a special prosecutor should investigate contacts between Russians and Trump campaign associates, according to a new CNN-ORC poll, and 55 percent say they are at least somewhat concerned by reports that some connected to the Trump campaign had contact with suspected Russian operatives. However, the steady stream of news about investigations into those contacts doesn't appear to have affected President Donald Trump's approval rating which ticked up only one percentage point, 44 percent to 45 percent, from January. Concerns about the reported contacts are closely tied to partisanship, with 71 percent of Democrats saying they are very concerned about it while 54 percent of Republicans say they have no concerns at all about the reports. Among Republicans, a majority feel Congress can handle the investigation but a sizable 43 percent support the call for a special prosecutor, as do majorities of Democrats, 82 percent, and independents, 67 percent. Overall, the poll finds that 65 percent would rather see a special prosecutor handle the investigation, while 32 percent think Congress is capable of handling it. Related, Entangling Trump and Russia, What We Know, and What We Don't Views of whether Russia attempted to influence the U.S. election at all are becoming increasingly polarized when compared with a January CNN-ORC poll. In the new survey, more Democrats say it's extremely likely that the intelligence community's assessment that Russia did attempt to influence the U.S. election is correct than said so before the inauguration, 47 percent in January, 52 percent now while more Republicans now say that it's not at all likely to be correct, from 12 percent in January to 27 percent now. And more now see Russia as a threat to the United States than said so last spring, before any news about Russia's attempted interference in the election emerged. In the new survey, 34 percent call Russia a very serious threat, up from 21 percent in May 2016. Last spring, Republicans were about twice as likely as Democrats to consider Russia a deep threat, 30 percent among Republicans, 15 percent among Democrats. Now, that's reversed, with Democrats about twice as likely to consider Russia a very serious threat, 51 percent among Democrats, 24 percent among Republicans. Approval ratings remain steady. None of this, however, appears to have taken a toll on Trump's approval ratings. Both the president's approval rating and favorability rating have held steady through the early days of his presidency. According to the poll, 45 percent approve of Trump's handling of the job, about the same as the 44 percent who said so in early February, and 45 percent say they have a favorable view of the president, just about the same as the 44 percent who said so in January. Speech didn't change things. At the same time, the steady number suggests Trump's well-received address to Congress last week hasn't provided a boost to the president's numbers. The poll, conducted entirely after Trump spoke to Congress last Tuesday, finds the share who say his proposed policies will move the country in the right direction in about the same spot as January, 49 percent now versus 48 percent then. And 53 percent say Trump's policy priorities do not reflect their own while 46 percent feel he is emphasizing policies that reflect their own priorities. Economy the only strong issue for Trump. At the same time, Trump's approval rating for handling the economy has increased to 55 percent, up from 49 percent a few weeks into his tenure. The economy, which 26 percent of Americans call the most important issue facing the country, remains his strongest issue as it was throughout the 2016 campaign. It is the only issue tested where Trump earns clearly positive reviews. Trump's ratings shift negative on several issues on which he's made efforts to reverse the course of Obama-era policies at the start of his presidency, health care, 53 percent disapprove, 43 percent approve, immigration, 55 percent disapprove, 44 percent approve, environmental policy. 52 percent disapprove, 42 percent approve, and foreign affairs, 54 percent disapprove, 41 percent approve, among them. 
ratings of Trump's handling of military issues are mixed, with a near-even split on national security, 50% approve, 49% disapprove, and a slight negative tilt on handling the role of commander-in-chief, 51% disapprove, 47% approve. As Trump's budget plan begins to roll out, almost 1 in 10 remain unsure of his handling of the budget and taxes, higher than on other issues. Those who do express an opinion split on his handling of the budget, 47% approve, 46% disapprove, and tilt negative on taxes, 48% disapprove, 43% approve, and helping the middle class, 50% disapprove while 45% approve. Pence, Congress Improve Vice President Mike Pence's favorability rating has ticked upward since the inauguration. 47% have a favorable view and 37% unfavorable, compared with a 40% favorable to 37% unfavorable split in January. And approval toward Congress has also climbed, up to 28% from 20% in January, reaching its highest level since 2009. The CNN-ORC poll was conducted March 1st through 4 among the random national sample of 1,025 adults. Results for the full sample have a margin of sampling error of plus or minus 3 percentage points. Error margins are larger for subgroups, 